October 3, 2025. An interstellar visitor named 3i Atlas sweeps past Mars, just 0.2 astronomical units away. Dozens of telescopes stand ready across the solar system, yet the only public trace comes from one faint signal hidden within the night sky images of NASA's Perseverance rover. While NASA, the European Space Agency, China, and the United Arab Emirates promise data, they remain silent. This is Lemora, where science meets mystery. And tonight, we uncover the story of a cosmic encounter that almost slipped through our fingers. At just under 29 million kilometers, three Sasash Atlas didn't simply pass by Mars. It offered the most extraordinary opportunity in planetary science, a close encounter between a planet rich in orbiters and an object from beyond our solar system. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, ESA's Mars Express, the UAE's HOPE, and China's Tianwen-1 all received urgent observation requests. Teams recalculated trajectories, adjusted cameras, and prepared to capture history. A traveler born among the stars, racing past Mars' thin atmosphere. The timing was merciless. 3CA Atlas moved across the Martian sky faster than any local comet ever recorded. The observation window was narrow, mere days before the object vanished into the sun's glare. Yet the promise was enormous. A single high-resolution image could reveal its nucleus. A well-timed spectrometer reading might expose alien chemistry, volatile ices and interstellar dust untouched since its birth light years away. Scientists across continents watched, waiting for confirmation for even one sharp image or one reliable spectrum. The world expected a flood of data and perhaps a glimpse of the unknown. But when the moment passed, there was only silence. No official images, no press releases, no celebration. Just a handful of researchers poring over open databases, trying to salvage a whisper of proof from the darkness above Mars. And out of that silence came a faint glow. A small patch of light buried in Perseverance's raw images. The kind of discovery that would go unnoticed by most, but one that might just change what we know about our cosmic neighborhood. The first confirmation didn't come from NASA, nor from any official agency. It came from two independent analysts, Stefan Burns, a geologist, and Simon Stimson, a veteran in planetary imaging circles. Working alone, armed with patience and open data, they did what billion-dollar space missions had not yet shown. They found 3i Atlas. Within hours of Perseverance's images being released to NASA's public archive, the two began their painstaking work. Each image, a 29-second exposure of the Martian night sky, was aligned, cleaned, and calibrated. They stacked dozens of frames, removed cosmic rays, corrected for dust on the lens, and aligned the stars pixel by pixel. Slowly from the noise, a faint smudge of light emerged at the predicted coordinates. It wasn't dramatic, no glowing tail, no bursting fragments, just a soft blur, almost lost in the darkness. But to those who knew where to look, it was unmistakable. The coma of three Aish Atlas, captured as it crossed Perseverance's field of view. Burns and Stimson didn't declare victory. They released their findings with caution, annotated images, calibration scripts, and raw data so anyone could verify their work. Their posts spread quietly across scientific forums in X, formerly Twitter. It was a small but undeniable piece of evidence that the interstellar traveler had truly passed by Mars. In planetary science, this kind of detection means more than a picture. It's a statement of method. Proof that even with embargoes and official silence, open data and curiosity can still illuminate the truth. Their workflow became a model of transparency, pairing every science frame with its dark reference, applying flat field corrections, and aligning every star in sub-pixel precision. They stacked the images both by median and mean to boost the signal-to-noise ratio, filtered out hot pixels, and modeled the background to extract faint sources. At the end of this long, delicate process, it, there it was. A small, diffused signal, right where three atlas should be. It cleared every statistical threshold, every noise check, every cross-verification. It was faint, but real. And in that moment, these two analysts had provided humanity's only confirmed image of an interstellar object from the surface of another world. What they didn't know was that their quiet discovery would ignite a wave of rumors, misinterpretations, and viral claims across the Internet, each one more dramatic than the last. As soon as Burns and Stimson's faint image began circulating, so did something else, 
noise, speculation, and sensational claims. Within hours, the internet lit up with posts claiming far clearer photos of 3i Atlas had already been found in other rover images. One picture in particular went viral. A razor-thin white streak captured by Perseverance's NavCam on October 3rd. Some declared it proof of an interstellar visitor visible to the naked eye. Forms filled with red circles, bold arrows, and captions like, NASA caught it and won't admit it. But numbers don't lie. Planetary geologist Emily Lakdawalla, known for her precise ephemeris checks, ran the coordinates through NASA's JPL Horizons database. The result was definitive. The streak wasn't 3 Ice Atlas at all. It was Phobos, Mars's inner moon, caught in a long exposure. Its motion, brightness, and trajectory matched perfectly. Within a day, the viral claim unraveled. What the Internet thought was a cosmic visitor turned out to be a familiar satellite, one that's been orbiting Mars for billions of years. Yet, the wave of excitement didn't stop there. A second discovery appeared. Another bright streak, this time from an October 2nd frame. It seemed faster, sharper, more mysterious. But when amateur analysts measured its angular speed, they realized it moved 10 times faster than 3 AS Atlas possibly could. The verdict? A near field object, likely a cosmic ray hit or sensor artifact. The pattern was clear. In the rush to find something extraordinary, ordinary explanations were being ignored. But amid the noise, the scientific community demonstrated something remarkable. Open forums, amateur astronomers, and planetary experts worked together in real time, checking data, comparing frames, and debunking false claims one by one. It became a quiet reminder. In science, every streak, every anomaly, every strange image must be tested, not believed. Every coordinate checked, every pixel analyzed, every theory held to the same light it seeks to uncover. In the end, only the faint, verified detection from Burns and Stimson remained standing. Not a revelation, not a disappointment, but a testament to discipline and doubt in the face of mystery. The excitement faded, the data stopped, and the world turned its eyes toward the orbiters, the machines still circling Mars, hoping that somewhere, in their unprocessed memory banks, the real secrets of 3i Atlas still waited to be seen. As the frenzy faded, attention shifted to Mars orbiters, the silent witnesses circling the red planet. If any spacecraft could have captured 3AI Atlas in stunning detail, it was them. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, equipped with the high-rise camera, was capable of photographing a single rock on Mars from orbit. ESA's Mars Express carried the Omega Spectrometer, designed to detect faint gases and chemical fingerprints. The Trace Gas Orbiter from the ExoMars mission had NOMAD and KSSS, instruments built to reveal molecular secrets in distant atmospheres. Even the UAE's Hope and China's Tianwen-1 could have contributed wide field views and spectral data. Together, they formed the most powerful observational network ever assembled beyond Earth. And for the first time, it had a chance to study a visitor from another star system. But as days passed, nothing came. No raw frames, no press briefings, not even a low-resolution preview. As of October 7, 2025, not a single confirmed image or spectrum had appeared in any public archive. NASA's usual quick-look thumbnails were missing. ESA's data servers stayed quiet. The silence grew louder, feeding whispers of secrecy and cover-ups. Yet the truth was more mundane and perhaps more daunting. Capturing a fast-moving interstellar object from orbit isn't easy. Every spacecraft had to guess its position in advance based on predictions updated almost hourly. The orbiters had to slew off their regular targets, aim blindly into the void, and expose their instruments in open loop mode. Shoot first, confirm later. No real-time tracking, no second chances. Even when successful, the data faced a bottleneck. The deep space network, the communication lifeline between Mars and Earth, was overloaded. Every rover, every orbiter, every telemetry packet competed for the same limited bandwidth. A perfect image might still sit in onboard memory, waiting for transmission days or even weeks later. Then came the complications, internal embargoes, calibration backlogs, and a government shutdown that froze NASA operations for nearly two weeks. So the silence wasn't proof of a conspiracy. It was proof of how fragile interplanetary science really is. A delicate balance between geometry, timing, and bureaucracy. For 3 eyes Atlas, the difference between success and failure was measured in minutes. A single drift in the ephemeris, a single delayed downlink, 
and the most historic image of the decade might have slipped through the cosmos unseen. As October advanced, the geometry of the solar system turned against us. By mid-month, Three Ash Atlas was closing in on superior conjunction, passing almost directly behind the sun from Earth's perspective. Every telescope, ground-based or space-based, was forced into silence. The object moved into the blinding solar glare, beyond safe observation limits. For planetary scientists, this was a nightmare, written in orbital mechanics. The comet's most active phase, its perihelion, the moment closest to the sun, would unfold while Earth was completely blind. From mid-October through early December, no observatory could watch. Meanwhile, Mars orbiter teams struggled with the same limitations. Their sure calibration pipelines, designed for still landscapes, faltered when tracking a faint, fast-moving object. A single pixel drift or uncorrected artifact could create false fragments, or worse, erase a real detection. So they waited, processing every frame with extreme caution, knowing that one mistake could reignite another wave of misinformation. Rumors whispered of internal reviews, embargoed findings, and missing frames. But in truth, this silence was not secrecy. It was discipline. The quiet rigor of science refusing to release what it could not yet prove. By late October, as 3i Atlas disappeared behind the sun, all that remained was uncertainty. No new spectra, no verified images, only one confirmed detection. The faint glow in Perseverance's night sky discovered by two people with open data and persistence. Still hope lingered. ESA's SOHO spacecraft would soon scan the solar glare with its LASCO C3 coronagraph, capable of spotting bright outbursts. The JUICE mission near Jupiter might have a narrow window in November to attempt deep field imaging, and by December, Earth-based telescopes would regain their view, ready to capture whatever was left of the fading visitor. For now, the working hypothesis holds. 3II's Atlas is a natural interstellar comet, rich in carbon dioxide, poor in dicarbon, the chemical that makes most comets glow green. Some preliminary spectra hint at traces of metals like nickel, but nothing yet rewrites the textbooks. The mystery, then, is not only what 3I Atlas is, but why we almost missed it. Because if an object from another star can pass this close, leaving only a single faint signal behind, how many others have slipped past unseen? The cosmos doesn't always shout its secrets. Sometimes it only whisper. And sometimes we are lucky enough to listen. This is Lamora, where science meets mystery.